there are common ways to notate most aggregations. An aggregation is just a way to turn multiple numbers into fewer numbers, usually just one number. Common aggregations include the measures of center we introduced earlier, like the mean, the median, and the mode. Each of these takes many numbers and provides a single value to give information about the data set. In this example, we want to aggregate all the values into a single sum. In other words, add them up. The Greek alphabet is a popular place to pull notation. Similar to English, there are both lower and uppercase letters in the Greek alphabet. For summing many values together, we use a Greek symbol known as sigma. Specifically, we use the uppercase sigma. We generally use the symbol in the following way. You will notice that instead of writing multiple x values, each with a different subscript, we write a single x with a subscript of i. Here, the i is a placeholder that tells us which x values we'll be summing up. In our first case, summing only the first two values, we want this i to be the value of either 1 or 2. Now you might be asking, how does this notation show which values we're summing together? This is a great question. If we would like to sum just the first two values, we would write something like this. Notice at the bottom, we're giving our starting point. That is, we would like the first x value to be where i equals 1. You can imagine replacing the 1 into this subscript. Then the value at the top gives us an ending point for where we stop. Here, our ending is 2. The sigma tells us we would like to sum from this bottom value up through all the values until we hit this top value. The new notation with the summation symbol is the same as our original notation of x1 plus x2.